our success as a society depends on our ability to harness AI to make us all better workers. It's going to help us address climate change. It's going to help us address food scarcity issues. It's going to help us address inequality. I really want to give everybody a chance to be their best selves by freeing up people from labor that they otherwise would be sort of locked into doing. I'm really excited about applications of AI in self-driving cars, healthcare, and robotics, primarily because I think these are some of the areas that we need the most help as a society. You know, autonomous vehicles are going to completely change the way we live. It's going to change the kinds of services that we have. And as you think also about the demographics of the world, we continue to get older. We need new kinds of healthcare to take care of our people, and AI is going to be part of that. Robotics is also really exciting because there's so many ways that we could make the world better if we were able to intelligently interact with machines. NVIDIA builds the platforms that researchers use to create AI. Pretty much all the AI that you interact with these days is being trained on NVIDIA GPUs because they're the most efficient, most flexible way to create new AI. It's true that every time we've had a revolution in our economy, the kinds of work that people do has changed. You know, you look at the Industrial Revolution, that really changed the kind of work that people did, and we lost a lot of agricultural jobs in that transition. The transition to an AI-powered economy is going to be similar, and we do need to look out for the people that are in danger of being left behind. AI is going to grow our economy in ways we can't even conceive, and so long-term, this is what our society needs. But short-term, we do need to think about education and support for people to make sure that we're taking care of everyone. These societal impacts of AI are bigger than any one company, and so we are partnering with other organizations to come up with best practices and policy goals and advice for government agencies that are trying to help with this transition to an AI economy. We're also doing things with education. We have the Deep Learning Institute, which really helps people learn about AI and get started applying AI to their own problems and retrain themselves. And we've got high school students that are in our Deep Learning Institute figuring out how to take advantage of the new opportunities AI provides. One of the things that gets me out of bed in the morning is just the joy of the quest. I'm a researcher, I love technology, and I just can't wait to see what we've discovered last night. Every morning there's something new and exciting. AI is the most exciting, most promising way of making the world more beautiful.